Carrie here welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are all doing great today so today I'm building what I would call like the first spooky build of the season but this is not spooky whatsoever <laughs> so this is actually for a fortune teller I decided to build a wagon and we're building today in Moonwood Mill that is the world that we got with the werewolves uh, game pack I don't usually build in this world I find it really weird for me to build in here like really complicated I don't usually know exactly what to build and I'm pretty sure I've only built once before here and it was like the library that i did for my save file but yeah and actually i built it in this exact same lot because this is a 20 by 15 lot i'm pretty sure and uh yeah i decided to use this one because this is the smallest lot that we got in this uh, world and also i decided to build a moonwood mill because every time that it's spooky season i usually go and build in forgotten hollow so this time i decided to build in a different world also the aesthetic in this world like the colors the vibes and everything like that they suit so well the with the kind of build that i was trying to go for so yeah, I decided to build it in here. I think it's really cool. Maybe like a fortune teller that has a, their wagon in the middle of the woods and it would be kind of, uh, I don't know, weird <laughs> to see it. Uh, but you would definitely uh, would find it a little bit spooky. So that's what I was trying to go for. And yeah, so this is actually as well a micro home because this is a 30 tile build and um that's great <laughs> so i decided to uh, uh classify it as a tiny house so this is uh, going to be uploaded to the gallery as a tiny home and that's great because you can actually get a lot of perks from having from living in a micro home and i don't usually get the chance to build micro homes and um it's really fun <laughs> so i decided to uh, embrace the micro home in here and i ended up really liking it also uh it's not the first time that i build a fortune teller's wagon i actually built one for my save file years ago i don't exactly remember when but if you uh want to check the the playlist that i have for my save file you will definitely find that build and i built it in sylvan glade that it's the hidden world that we got in base game with a uh, willow creek so yeah i i do have that build so this is not part of my save file because why would i want to have two fortune teller wagons <laughs> in my save file but yeah i decided to build another one because i was like embracing the uh life and death expansion pack i actually started building this when we got the trailer and uh i was really really inspired by the tarot cards i wanted to have something that was that uh simulated a little bit of that so yeah um I also play tested this build. Everything functions, it's fully functional. And I don't usually play test my builds because I don't usually have the time to do that. But in this case, it's, it's such a small build that it took me like five, six minutes to play test everything. But yeah, uh, I kept the floor planning because um, it's only two walls. That's that's it, that's a, the whole floor, floor plan. Yeah, floor plan, <laughs> two walls. And you will see it uh, right now, it's only one, but I was trying to figure out where I was gonna have like the kitchen and everything like that, because that part, like the very, uh, like at the back of the build is actually the bedroom. And um, I was trying to figure out if I wanna have like an open concept in here, if I wanted to have like a, the seance table with four chairs or what was I trying to do? And yeah, you will see it uh, shortly that I added a new wall in here and that's gonna be like the whole floor plan for this build. <laughs> and getting like the colors and everything for the walls, it was pretty simple actually. So yeah, I, I just decided to keep it. <laughs> But yeah, uh, right now you see that I added the sands table because this is for a fortune teller and um, of course I wanted to have the sands table because that looks a lot like what you would see probably in a fortune teller's um, like workspace or something like that. I'm going for the stereotypical one. I've never been to a fortune teller or a, someone that uh, a palm reader or anything like that. I've never been to one, so I have no idea how they uh, their workspaces look in real life. So I just went for something a little bit more stereotypical, and I ended up really liking it because I could overclutter this space a lot. 
Also here in this wagon you will find like the workspace for the fortune teller. You will have uh, the bath, uh, the kitchen, a fully functional kitchen, and also a fully functional bedroom slash living room, I would say. And uh, the bathroom is going to be outside. I use the ones that you have like for community a lot. So it's the ones that you find in the parks and things like that. And I had to add a shower. So I added the shower from um, Island Living because uh, I didn't know that the toilets that I chose don't help with the hygiene. So they also, uh, your sim would need a shower as well. So I decided to add that one from Island Living because you can use it outside and your sims won't get any problems with that. So they won't feel em embarrassed or anything like that. So yeah, I actually play tested everything and everything works and everything is accessible. I didn't have to move a single item from here. And I think it's the first time that I play test something and everything uh, works uh, like perfectly <laughs> so i was really really proud of myself because of that but yeah you see me grabbing uh, a lot of books from the debug menu so these books actually are from uh the Roma magic uh, game pack and i just thought that maybe this fortune teller is uh, like has a lot of information about uh different things so maybe about uh reading the future or um tarot cards or palm reading or I don't know what you would find <laughs> but also I added some things that maybe make you feel like this fortune teller is a little bit um, not so good but not good in the like maybe it's a little bit of a bad person I would say uh, I added this book that I don't know from what pack I got it I don't remember but it's like a forbidden book or something like that and I thought it was so so cool to have it in here so yeah there are some things that you would see like make you feel a little bit skeptical or a little bit worried about trying to go to this fortune teller uh, for them to read your uh, your future and um that was something that I was trying to accomplish as well because I wanted that uh, spooky part to be kind of uh, noticeable in the build. And uh, yeah, I thought adding some weird items as well would help a lot. Also, I added some uh, uh, jewelry and stuff from the Crystal Creations game pack because I thought that maybe there were some um, like uh, stones and things like that that maybe this fortune reader actually sells or it gives you as um, I don't know different things that you would need and also you see me i added the dentures in here uh that's part of the uh me trying to have a little bit of spookiness into this build so yeah the, right next to that uh forbidden tome or whatever that book is called there the, uh, it's the dentures <laughs> and i thought that maybe this sim did some rituals or things like that and that's why they had those things also the cow plan you see here as well there are many things that you would think it's a little bit weird for a nice fortune teller or whatever like that so yeah also that crystal that is in the shape of a skull and the sugar skulls as well and things like that yeah uh, i just <laughs> i wanted to go crazy with all the decor and with all the things and trying to keep it as cluttered as possible and as accessible as possible so i ended up adding actually another chair in the sound table and now that i remember there's only one item that i had to move a little in order for this build to be fully functional and it's the heater that we got with um snowy escape that i added it uh, at the very end of the video i'm gonna be adding it to the uh, workspace in here and that item wasn't functional where it was placed originally so i had to move it a little bit but that's pretty much it that's the only change that i had to do for this build so i was really really proud of it but yeah we're working on the kitchen now it's pretty simple and i didn't add any decor besides the teapot that you saw me adding right now i didn't add anything else because i was thinking that maybe this fortune teller didn't have that much going on in their like um home part of this wagon so their main focus is always in their workspace so yeah i added some uh, a little bit of decor in here and only that, that that shelf and that would be it and we're moving into the bedroom now of course it's a really small space it's a two by four 
a bedroom so I had to fit only like a, a single bed and this dresser from uh, Robo Magic that I never get the chance to use and in this swatch that I didn't even know we had so yeah I loved it I embraced it and I used it and there's a TV as well and I play tested everything as I mentioned so this TV works and your sim can actually watch TV and they can just um, have their fun up <laughs> when they're bored or whatever because I didn't add a computer or a laptop or anything like that in here because there's no space as you see uh, I didn't add any table so the only table that is in this build is actually the seance table and adding a laptop in there was gonna look weird <laughs> so I decided not to but yeah um I just decided to add different things here in the bedroom that would help with the functionality of this build so yeah i i just really liked like the contrast between uh what you see in the bedroom and what you see in the workspace because everything is really light in here and there's not that much going on there are not that many uh, pieces of clutter besides the things that I'm gonna be adding to these shelves in here and I really wanted to use these shelves This one we got them with growing together and I love them because they are suitcases And I thought that was really fun and I thought that maybe this sim actually um, like handmade most of what they have in here and they decided to use those suitcases as uh, Decor in there and I ended up really liking that. So that's why I decided to go with that Also, I added that book from Nifty Knitting because I added one other item from Nifty Knitting and I wanted the sim to feel like maybe they had another uh, hobby and it was knitting but I completely forgot to add the knitting baskets. So yeah uh, maybe that's not their hobby or if you want to add it you're more than welcome to do that because I completely forgot to add the knitting basket and also the knitting basket uh, goes into your sims inventory anyways so there's no need for me to specifically add it to the build you can definitely add it yourself and keep it in your sims inventory but yeah we're moving to the outside now so we're doing a little bit of landscaping and I used items from the werewolves pack as a um, the landscaping so i added a lot of trees and these patches of grass and that um tree that is on the ground i really like that item i ended up moving it a little bit because i completely forgot about the toilet situation that it's gonna be at the um right upper corner so right now where i moved the the trees uh, this is the toilet that i ended up adding and I thought that your sims would get their hygiene up with this item as well, but they don't. And if it is, like if it goes up, it's like really, 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 um, like a little, little bit. So it's not even noticeable. So I decided to add the shower as well. You will see it on the screenshots because I don't think I recorded it because I, I realized that when I was playtesting this build. But yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun uh, doing uh, things like this. I have been building a lot and uh, I've been having a lot of fun trying to figure out what other spooky builds to do. So I'm currently working on an autumnal, autumnal build, even though here it's not autumn, <laughs> it's actually spring. So yeah, I ended up building something for, for autumn as well. So in case you guys wanna watch it, stay tuned for that because I'm gonna be uploading it so to the channel. And um, yeah, I'm just really enjoying building different things in, in October because October is definitely my favorite month. It doesn't have anything to do with the fact that it's my birthday <laughs> next week, but um, I love Halloween. It's definitely my favorite time of the year. I enjoy it a lot. And uh, building spooky things is not something that I usually do because I don't know, I always kind of forget or I keep it to the last minute and then I don't have anything or I just ended up no like not liking what I built because I am I really want to build something that is spooky that you feel like it's something different it's not just a haunted house or things like that and I end up not building anything because of that <laughs> but yeah this uh, time I wanted to start building right now um, something a little bit more um, not traditional and not something that I tend to build all the time so I know that I have been going through this kind of suburban era right now. I'm going through this phase in which I'm building a lot of suburban houses and I've been having a lot of fun with that, but still I wanted to build something a little bit different and building uh, like wagons or converted uh, 
like vehicles or and things like that it's something really cool so yeah and also it gives me like the chance to build something in this world because as i mentioned i have built only once before in this world i just don't feel comf uh, confident enough building in here i don't know it's kind of a weird <laughs> um aesthetic and a little bit different and kind of hard to build in here i'm not so familiarized with the kind of style that you uh, build in this world it, it, it's weird but yeah you see me that i added uh, the uh this table this is a selling table from the crystal creations pack so you can actually sell things in here i didn't play test uh, like the like having a sale so i don't know if all the items that you that i added in there you can actually sell them but i thought that maybe the sim actually sells a lot of things as well and um because maybe they don't have customers all the time in here in like with the readings and stuff like that and uh, so they do some sales as well and you see me adding the Sab sabak cards from journey to back to so i was thinking that maybe these were like the car uh, the tarot cards and I added some other items from Journey to Bat 2 just to justify the fact that I used, I think, only one item from the pack. So, yeah, um, we're doing some landscaping now. And I ended up adding some different decor pieces as well to make you feel like your sim actually lives in here. And also, I added this sign. Uh, I didn't end up with this one, but uh, the second one that you see here, that's the one that I ended up using. Uh, so maybe the people that walk around this place and they see the sign, they can go in there and have their reading or whatever. And maybe if your sim is hosting a sale, they can just go and, sit and buy some things and things like that. But yeah, I ended up adding some different decor pieces just to make it feel a little bit more lived in. And also, I know this water tower is supposed to be on the uh, on the like um, on the roof, but I ended up adding it in here as well. Just for decoration and yeah we're actually heading to the end of the video now so i hope you guys liked it and i had a lot of fun building it so if you like this video please like it also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also follow me on social media the links are all in the description and below and i'll talk to you guys in the next video enjoy the screenshots goodbye